I wouldn't do that if I were you. Wouldn't do what? What you were thinking of doing. How do you know what I was thinking? Ah, uh, we make it our business to know a lot of things. Looks like snow, doesn't it? It'll be nice to have a white Christmas. They're getting scarce these days. But so are a lot of things. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. What made you think I wasn't? I... You know, you shouldn't think of such things. And on Christmas Eve of all times, you've got to consider Mary and your mother too. How do you know my wife's name? Don't ask me how I know such things. It's my business to know them. That's why I came along this way tonight. I'm lucky I did too. Huh. Well, if you know so much about me, give me just one good reason why I should be alive. <laughs> come, come. It can't be that bad. You've got your job at the bank and marry into the kids. You're healthy, young, and... And sick of everything. I'm stuck here in this mud hole for life, doing the same dull work day after day. Other men are leading exciting lives, but I, well, I'm just a small town bank clerk that even the army didn't want. I never did anything really useful or interesting, and it looks as if I never will. I might just as well be dead. I might better be dead. Sometimes I wish I were. In fact, I wish I'd never been born. What was that you said? I said, I wish I'd never been born. And I mean it too. Why, that's wonderful. You've sold everything. I was afraid you were going to give me some trouble, but you've got the solution yourself. You wish you'd never been born, all right? Okay, you haven't. What do you mean? You haven't been born. Just that. You haven't been born. No one here knows you. You have no responsibilities, no job, no wife, no children. Why, you haven't even a mother. You couldn't have, of course. All your troubles are over. Your wish, I'm happy to say, has been granted. Officially. Huh. Nonsense. You'd better take this with you. It will open a lot of doors that might otherwise be slammed in your face. What doors in whose face? Uh, I know everybody in this town. And besides, I'd like to see anybody slam a door in my face. Yes, I know. But take this anyway. It can't do any harm. Scented candles? You'd be surprised by how useful these candles can be as introduction. Especially the free ones, like that purple one. But you can't give away the big ones, like this blue one. I'll show you how to use it. When the lady of the house comes to the door, you give her this, and you talk fast. You say, Good evening, madam. I'm from the World Candle Making Company, and I want to present to you this beautifully scented candle. Absolutely free. No obligation to purchase anything at all. After that, of course, it's a cinch. Now you try it. You know what? I've had enough of this funny business. I'm just going to put everything back and give it back to you. Uh, here you go. Uh. You know what? I'm not going to play hide-and-seek with Mr. Know-it-all. I'll go into town. I'll prove him wrong. Wait a minute. Why is the vault light turned off? I swear I turned it on when I left the bank. It can't be. What on earth? This has to be some silly boy's prank or something. Uh, what can I do for you, sir? The bank. What's the matter with it? The old bank building. Nothing that I can see. Would you like to rent or buy it? Y you mean you mean it's out of business? For a good ten years. Went bust. Stranger around these parts, aren't you? I was here some time ago. The bank was alright then. I even knew some of the people who worked there. Did you know a fella named Marty Jenkins? Marty Jenkins? Why, he never... But he never worked there. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. No, I didn't know him. Not really, that is. I'd heard of him. Then maybe you heard how he skipped out with $50,000. That's why the bank went broke. Pretty much ruined everybody around here. I was hoping for a minute maybe you'd know where he is. I lost plenty in that crash myself. We'd like to get our hands on Marty Jenkins. Didn't he have a brother? Seems to me he had a brother named Arthur. Art? Oh, sure. But he's alright. He doesn't know where his brother went though. It's had a terrible effect on him too. It made him drink a lot. Ugh, it's too bad. And hard on his wife. 
He married a nice girl. Who did he marry? A girl named Mary Thatcher. She lives up the hill, just this side of the church. Uh, hey, uh, where are you going? <sighs> okay, um, Mary. Wait, 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 wait. No. Maybe it's too early. Uh, I can't face her yet. Uh, does she have any children? Um, parents! I can see my parents! Yes, uh... Is the lady of the house in? Go on in. I will chain this dog up. She can be mean with strangers. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, good evening, madam. I am from the World Candle Making Company. And we're giving out free sample candles. I thought you might like to have one. No obligation. No obligation at all. I suppose you'll want to sell me something. I'm not really sure if I need any candles. Uh, no, madam. I'm, I'm not selling anything. The regular salesman will be around in a few days. This is just, well, uh, just a Christmas present from the company. Oh, well, how nice. You people never gave away such good candles before. Won't you come in for a while and sit down? You must be tired from walking so much. Oh, thank you, madam. I don't mind if I do. I used to know this town pretty well. Knew some of the townspeople. I remember a girl named Mary Thatcher. She married Art Jenkins, I heard. You must know them? Of course. We know Mary well. Any children? Two. A boy and a girl. My, you must be tired. Perhaps I can get you a cup of tea. Uh, no, don't bother. I'll be having supper soon. That photo. Is that your son? I think I met him too. His name's Harry, isn't it? <laughs> you couldn't have met him. He's been dead a long while. He drowned in the river the day that picture was taken. <laughs> hey, hey, you can't get me. Yeah, I can. Oh, hurry! I'm sorry. I guess I'd better go. I hope you like the candle, and I wish you both a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, madam. Uh, I'm from the World Candle Making Company and uh, I want to give away some free candles. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to come in? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> This would be fine for your living room. My, that is a pretty candle. You're giving it away for free? Yes. A special introductory offer. It's one way for the company to keep excess profits down. Share them with its friends. Uh, 
It is a nice candle. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Mommy! Bang! Bang! She Mommy, she stop. won't die! I shot her a hundred <laughs> times, but she won't die! Who are you? <laughs> Bang! You're dead! You're dead! Why won't you fall down and die? Who's this? He, he's a candle salesman. Uh, he gave me that candle over there. Ha! A candle salesman? Well, tell him to get out of here. We don't want any candles. <gasps> and we don't want no candle salesman either. Because they're stupid. Please go. Desperate people who need money and can't do anything else better for the world they don't they shouldn't even exist bang 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 you're dead 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 maybe i am dead after all i have to get back i've had enough get me out of this you got me into it you into it. I like that. You were granted your wish. You got everything you asked for. You're the freest man on earth now. You have no ties. You can go anywhere. Do anything. What more can you possibly want? Change me back. Change me back. Please. Not just for my sake, but for others too. You don't know what a mess this town is in. You don't understand. I've got to get back. They need me here. I understand right enough. I just wanted to make sure you did. You had the greatest gift of all upon you. The gift of life. Of being a part of this world and taking a part in it. Yet, you denied that gift. I've got to get back. You can't cut me off like this. Why? It's murder! Suicide, rather. What did she say? You brought it on to yourself. However, since it's Christmas Eve... Well, anyway, close your eyes and keep listening to the bells. Keep listening to the bells. Keep listening to the bells. Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, hello George. Uh, late tonight, aren't you? I should think you'd want to be home early on Christmas Eve. Uh, I just wanted to see if the bank is alright. I've got to make sure the vault light is on. I'm sure it's on. I saw it as I went past. Uh, let's look, huh? Uh, okay. See? I told you it was on. I had to make sure. Thanks and Merry Christmas! Uh, Merry Christmas? Daisy, Daisy, come here, girl! Oh, oh, I missed you so much, oh, Daisy! George! Oh, hurry! Hurry, my good brother! <laughs> Alright, uh, George, are you okay? Oh, yes, I am definitely okay. I'm better than okay, really. Well, uh, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I love you. Okay, um, I'm gonna see Mother and Father, okay? Mm. Alright. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. George, I miss everything alright? Oh, oh, why, yes. Uh, hello, Mother. Yes, yes. I, uh, I just came to say Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, you're quite full of the energy. Yes, and uh, n now I need to see Mary and the kids. Uh, okay, bye. Okay, bye, son. Merry Christmas. Right. I have to see Mary. <sighs> Mary, where are you? Mary, kids? Shh, shh, shh. I've just put the children to bed, and now they're... I thought I lost you, Mary. I thought I lost you. What's the matter, darling? I thought, like, I had this crazy dream. And it was like, like a 
No one near me and... What's the matter? Is everything alright? 